Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. If you are new here, what up? Okay, we're going to be talking about Quasar, the mythic fire warrior. This is my personal opinion review pros and cons list. Let us get started. Also, I did write a whole song about this dragon for the forums contest. If you want to hear it, it is on my channel. It's under like winter forums contest, but it's like a Christmas dragon song and you should listen to it and then you'll love Quasar even more. Okay, let's get into the spell kit. So first up, we have Solar Flare. It is a two rage white spell. You do 12% of the HP as damage and you freeze the towers for one second. One second is not very long. It's really to just boop, get your bearings, freeze super shots midair, um, not die. Nebula Beam is a passive spell. You gain increased attack power for sustained breath damage. It caps at three times damage for 300% attack power. This just means that as you're hitting the towers, as long as you don't take your finger off of the screen or stop hitting the towers, you're not canceled by a dark flak or an ice flak or stunned or whatever. You're going to deal 300% breath damage. It ramps up as you destroy towers or as you... The next spell we have is Event Horizon. It is a one rage blue spell. You become invincible for three seconds. You gain two rage and you place healing marks when your shield ends, like your invincible time or whatever, on the towers. And when you destroy that tower, you get 10% HP upon destruction. Personally, I think it's a really cool spell. I really like it. You spend one rage to gain one rage, so you net, like you get two rage basically. Like you get to use the spell and you get two rage. Um, I think that's pretty cool. I also think that it's pretty cool that you become invincible and that you get to use a shield that gives you health back basically. Um, and then black hole dodges all attacks for three seconds. And then you damage 20% of your HP every second to nearby towers and you fly at 25% of your original speed. So you slow down, you have basically three waves um, that deal 20% HP as damage every second. It's a three second spell. So you're doing 60% HP as damage. I'm gonna tell you right now, Venus is probably the best warrior rider out there right now. You get 34% HP if you go warrior HP line. Put that on Quasar and use Black Hole and you will obliterate, obliterate any small island. I don't care who you are, how many defenders there are, what you super shot. You're going to freeze it, use your event horizon, and use your black hole. You can use all five spells if you pull up to an island with all five of your rage. And you will nuke it. This thing will nuke it. I'm telling you right now. Black hole combined with the freeze. Because the freeze damages too. Most like freeze spells that are one second don't damage, but this one does. You get 12% HP as damage there, 60% HP as damage from black hole. You have 300% breath damage that's going out and you're invincible. <laughs> I don't know what more you could ask for in a warrior. You can heal, you can gain rage, you can nuke islands. And if anything, if you're pulling up to a 10 tower kill, which, you know, 90% of the community, or not even 90%, at least 75% of the community that is in like mid to end tier, you have a 10 tower base. I see it all day, every day. 15 to 30 bill, 10 towers, usually laid out on four and five. If anything, you're going to nuke five. You're going to nuke the first island. I'm telling you that right now. If you're not a person who flies hunters or sorcerers or invokers well, and you like warriors, get this guy. I'm telling you, use every HP rune you have, use the best HP rider that you have, put all of your HP gear on there um, and max it out, like elite, mythic, whatever you have, and watch because it will nuke it. I'm telling you, it will nuke it. I know this sounds, this sounds like such a sales pitch, but honestly, from flying this guy, it is so much fun to pull up to a base and you have three defenders and they're going all out and it's just one five tower island and you just completely boom, 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 use all of your spells and you just kill it. And there's nothing they can do because you just nuked a whole island. Now, getting your rage back and stuff, that's going to take time. It's not a dragon that is going to solo triple defended 100 bill bases. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. But 30 bill bases, 40 bill bases, single defended, probably double defended, you are going to get through. If you take the time to learn the timing and the spell management and watch your rage and watch your health, this is a good dragon. It is... <laughs> 
this is the dragon I'm going for this season out of the two mythics. I'm going to put that there. Don't choose your mythic based on what I'm doing, please. Do your own research. Choose what you think is going to be better for you. But out of the two, this is what I'm going for. If anything, you can put it on your perch. And <laughs> I know that's like a sucky thing to say for a mythic dragon, but it is what it is. A lot of people go for mythic warriors just for perches. Honestly, this guy is good, and I wouldn't say that if I didn't truly believe it. I would never recommend a dragon that I don't think is going to do well. Um, I have not recommended Zilch. I have not recommended tons of dragons on my channel before, but I do recommend Quasar, and I think that he is a great mythic warrior, and I can't wait to get him, in all honesty. I cannot wait to get him, put my mythic fire, not, I'm sorry, put my elite fire gear on him. I'm also going for Venus because 34% HP, are you kidding me? That is, like, so high. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go over pros and cons. All right, so pros, you can straight nuke small islands with the full spell kit. The damage buff helps, helps, <laughs> with taking down towers quickly. Event Horizon, a phenomenal spell. Two rage, places healing marks, and makes you invincible. Um, like I said, with enough HP packed onto the dragon, you're going, <laughs> you're going to murder. The freeze, does, the freeze does damage as well, which most freezes um, that are just one second don't do damage. So that's cool that it does. Um, and it fr freezes the projectiles and stuff midair. So that's cool if a Howie shot's coming at you and it's still alive and you're like within range, you can boop, freeze it, and then it's done. It can't touch you. So I think it's well-rounded. I think it's a great dragon, and I'm personally going to get it. Uh, let's move on to the cons because every dragon has cons. Now, warriors, they're warriors. They struggle against hammers and hammer spam due to the way that their breath damage works. Um, it's not like, it's the same thing that, that sorcerers struggle with, you know? Like, you can't just spam a tower down like you can with a hunter or, or an invoker that has, like, more damage per shot. So, you're going to struggle with triple defended hammers. I'm, I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, it's not going to walk triple D bases that are 15, 20, 30 towers unless you are flying at, like, full capacity, like, big brain flying. Um, ice Flax and Dark Flax, the, um, the Ice Flax cancel and the Dark Flax stun do interrupt the bonus breath damage. So instead of doing 300%, you'll just be back to 100%. Um, again, at the end of the day, he is a warrior. He is a well-built one. Don't expect to walk 100 bill bases, triple defended, but he does really well when you rune rider and gear him properly and like i said personally i'm going for him i hope that you guys go for him um if you don't go for him that's cool too ikaros is a good mythic as well i'm gonna post my pros and cons of both dragons it is up to you what you choose there's a ton of footage out there from some great content creators on all of the dragons that you can watch and decide for yourself um but for me personally I had more fun flying Quasar and just <laughs> straight nuking islands uh, than I did with Akaros. So this is the dragon for me. I wrote a whole song about him, so I feel like I can't like not get him. I feel like we're bonded, you know, like like we're friends now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Ask me any questions. Tell me any lies. Is that a song? I feel like it's a song. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.